Biohazards is the general term used for bugs and germs, and as cleaners, we are all exposed to biological hazards to varying degrees, depending on the nature of the cleaning task we're undertaking. When it comes to biohazards, the temptation is to immediately think of healthcare establishments, such as hospitals, but it's important to have good infection control in place in all environments to protect us all from these hazards. This is because bugs and germs multiply and spread at a phenomenal rate. This light reveals that microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses and spores are all around us. And although most of them do not endanger our health, some can cause serious infectious illness, such as hepatitis, HIV, MRSA and the H1N1 flu virus, to name but a few. <coughs> Each time we cough or sneeze, or when we forget to wash our hands, we are helping spread these bugs and germs, and thus increasing the risk of cross-infection. <coughs> Sorry about that. And if these hazards are not dealt with correctly, there is a serious risk of infection to ourselves and other people in the building. Systems have been developed to help minimize the risk of infection. The colour coding of products, such as brushware, cloths, waste bins and gloves, to help minimise cross-infection, and the use of personal protection equipment, PPE, to provide a physical barrier between us and potentially harmful bugs and germs. We must also practise good hygiene ourselves at all times to help us remain infection-free. This means using a hand sanitizing gel regularly throughout the day, and especially when entering or exiting a building. It means keeping our hands clean by washing them thoroughly with soap and water before and after each cleaning task. We must keep any cuts and abrasions clean and covered with a proper dressing, such as a plaster or bandage, until it's healed, and we must avoid contact with other people's wounds or material contaminated from wounds. In higher risk buildings such as hospitals, prisons or public toilets, you should change gloves and aprons from room to room so as not to risk moving any bugs and germs you may have picked up in one area to other areas of the building. We also need to be aware of the key areas where bugs and germs collect and pay special attention to how we clean them. These include hard surfaces that everyone touches, such as toilet flushes, toilet seats, taps, light switches, door handles, phones and keyboards. For these tasks, Jangro Germicidal Washroom Cleaner or Medical Sanitizer and Cleaner Disinfectant should be used to remove the bacteria that cannot be seen, as well as the dirt that can. These Jangro solutions are microbiologically tested for your safety. There are also special procedures to work to for certain cleaning tasks, which may mean contact with or disposal of blood or other bodily fluids, syringes and sharps, and other hazardous materials. There's specialist training for these tasks, supported by the relevant Jangro guide. Also, in some healthcare environments, it is recommended that we use disposable cleaning products instead of washable ones, this is normally the case where a sterile environment is essential or the risk of contamination is considered the highest priority and Jangro provides a range of these products. Finally, a brief word about COSH awareness. COSH stands for the Control of Substances Hazardous to Health and there are a set of regulations that control exposure to these substances to prevent ill health. Substances that are covered by the regulations include cleaning agents, substances that produce fumes and biological agents, and incorrect handling of these substances could lead to skin irritations, asthma, fainting and infections and illnesses. Our cleaning work means that we will inevitably have to use products such as these, so we must all abide by the COSH regulations. To do this, there are a number of ways Jangro can help. Firstly, all chemical products fall under the regulations and require a safety data sheet. It describes the nature of the hazard associated with the product and the risks involved in using it, as does a risk assessment, and it's important that we understand them in order to handle the product safely. 
Where applicable, these products will have clear symbols which specify the associated hazards. You need to remember what these symbols stand for and adapt your handling of such products accordingly. This is the most common symbol, which indicates a product which is an irritant if in contact with the skin or harmful if swallowed. The flammable symbol is mostly found on pressurized containers. The corrosive symbol appears on highly acidic or alkaline products. Care must be taken when disposing of neat products if it has a hazardous to the environment symbol. There are a wide range of Jangro training aids on biohazards, infection control and COSH awareness, such as wall charts, risk assessments and the Jangro training guides, and these need to be used in order for us all to acquire a deeper understanding of these important subjects. Well done, Louise, I'd like to present you with this COSH awareness award. Uh, you're now fully qualified. Thank you.